Hi everyone, and welcome back to Deansbury Town. Does your workbench often look like this? If it does, and you're after some ideas of how to tidy things up, stick around for this video where I'm going to show you how I turn this wooden tray into this workbench tidy. Hope you enjoy. Here we've got a small uh, wooden tray that I acquired from one of my children's sort of um, gift sets. I think it was a little uh, jewellery set or something like that, but uh, I've hung onto it for a little while and it's been stuck in my drawer. Uh, one of the things I noticed when I'm modelling is the chaos that ensues and there's uh, tools everywhere and I can never really find anything and um, it takes, uh, takes a while to get going while I find all my tools. Um, I noticed on uh, scalemodelscenery.com that they'd released a couple of uh, um, laser cut kits to make your own little desk tidy and I was about to purchase one when I remembered I had this tray uh, sitting around in the drawer so I thought it might be a good idea to see if I could repurpose this to uh, accommodate some of the tools. Because um, I do most of my modelling in cardboard, um, the typical kind of things we've got to accommodate are some glues, some Brit sticks, some PVA, a couple of knives, some scorers, tweezers, and maybe a paintbrush or two for gluing, maybe some cocktail sticks, a sanding stick, and a ruler or two, depending on if I lose them and grab the next one. Um, so I thought that should fit in there. How can I, uh, how can I squeeze it all in? I also had a number of these little dividers left over from my uh, hobby zone drawers. So I thought they would make ideal uh, dividers um, to, to stick in the drawers. Loads of little bits of these, so I thought let's get some, some of those off cuts cut. Um, I tried initially to make some little grooves so each of the tools would kind of sit in uh, one of the grooves uh, to make them stay where they were. Didn't work out terribly well, I think. Um, it became a little bit inflexible in the end. So what I decided to do was just mount these in drawer, kind of here and here, and most of the tools would then sort of rest on top and that just made them actually far easier to grab uh, rather than trying to pick them up for the desk all the time. So I've had a play with it for a, for a week or so, um, loose fitted, uh, seems to work quite well. So I'm gonna glue it up now uh, slightly more permanently uh, and make a little, uh, little tool tray. So the first bit there is this main divider, and then I'm going to glue these two little upstands here, and they are where my sort of most commonly used tools go. So the knives and the scribers. Another good reason for having these little upstands is it allows a few other tools to kind of be slotted in at this end, especially with the paintbrushes there. It gives the paintbrushes somewhere to dry or sit. Um, with either paint on or being wet and they don't roll around and mess up the desk. And obviously because there's no specific home for anything, if I'm doing a different type of activity, these tools can go away and some other tools can go in here depending on what I'm using uh, at the time. So first things first, we'll get these little dividers glued in. Just gonna be using PVA, just a couple of dabs. So in the event it does, uh, I do change my mind at a later date, it's not terribly permanent that it can't just be gently pulled apart. The gap underneath there actually allows them to be picked up easy. Then in this half, um, I've got a block of wood, drilled a couple of holes in it with the uh, with the hole saw, and that is going to sit somewhere there, I think, and that's pretty stick holder. One or the other, probably there, and then I've got this little cup for the PVA. And I'm always losing the, the pin for the fine applicator. So 
just drilled a little hole in there. I think it needs to make that a bit deeper. Um, and that's where the, the pin will go. Then in the other side here, I have cut out another little holder. Um, probably could do with another hole in the middle. And that's going to go somewhere around there. And that is um, going to hold my rulers. So they're easily to, uh, easy to grab. Possibly the sanding stick as well. I need to cut a bit more out of there. It could be easy to get to. Slight change of plan, I've just moved the glue around and that seems to work a little bit better with how I'm going to have the tray on the uh, on the workbench. So I've just got this little off cut here, which I think if I glue that in there, it should keep the, uh, the PVA glue in the pot there relatively stable. It'll allow me to take it out if I need to. So there we go, there's my uh, handy little tool tidy. All knocked up in a few minutes. Hopefully it should uh, keep the desk a bit tidier and uh, allow me to find what I need. And here's the finished tool tidy. As you can see, it sits quite nicely on the bench, keeping everything neat and tidy, but close to where I need it for when I'm modeling. If I don't want to use any of these tools for any time, I can easily just pick up the whole caddy and put it on this shelf here, keeping the workbench nice and clear. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short video. A little bit different to my previous ones, uh, but hopefully useful nonetheless. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Future videos, I'll be continuing with my back scene, which is in the background here, and I'll have a general layout update progress coming soon as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.